I love my Prusa XL, but there has been one gripe outside of the cooling that I have with this machine that so far there's never been an answer for. It is so freaking loud during certain movements. Well, according to Mr. Prusa himself, this new alpha firmware, which introduces phase stepping to the XL, you can apparently reduce vibration noise by over 90% in some cases. Well, you know we have to test that one out. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, and you got a Prusa XL, first off, nice. And second off, hey, leave a like, get subscribed if you haven't, and if you're not new here, you know, I've got a 5 tool head XL, and we actually built it live on the channel, we'll card to that whole live playlist so you guys can take a look it was like three videos total that involved a copious amount of gummy bear consumption as is per the instructions but i've had issues with my xl one of them being just how freaking loud it is it resonates at certain frequencies due to the thin metal used for the frame it's kind of an odd issue one that you just well, kind of have to deal with in some cases but Persia said no it took them a little bit but they said no and are introducing an alpha one of firmware 6.0.0, which brings phase stepping into the world. Let's dive into why, and then let's go freaking try it. The base of phase stepping is actually surrounding the Trinamic 2130 drivers that Prusa chose for the XL, which, well, they're not the newest drivers on the market. In fact, they've been around for quite some time, but they're able to do some really fun trickery with this, which involves effectively noise cancelization for your motors this is input shaping but for your motors very similar to what bamboo did with their printer where they added in that whole noise cancellation but bamboo doesn't use actual stepper drivers they use an h bridge which if you guys want me to get into that one day we can but these are actual stepper drivers that enable this kind of control and we can see here that you can get results of reducing vibrational noise by over 90 percent that is nuts level of noise dampening if there is any way for me to take a printer and reduce its noise by 90 percent without slowing it down to 10 millimeters per second well then i absolutely want to do it and prusha is claiming here that all we have to do is run the calibration which is likely utilizing some form of accelerometer in the tool heads themselves and then go ahead and let it run also we can now apparently dim the side strips of the rgb and kind of change if those dim when those dim how they dim that kind of thing and being that this is an alpha firmware there might be some bugs god bless america but i am willing to deal with some bugs for the chance of making that machine quiet enough that we might be able to bring it inside which means we can enclose it and we can start to use it for really fun projects so let's get out on the set let's get this installed and see how it happens all right the firmware is loaded 6.0.0 alpha one now it's time to run the calibration in the comments below I want you guys to guess where you think we're going to end up here, right? We're going to get some reduction, but is it going to be the claimed 90 plus percent from Prusa? Or because this thing is actually on a pretty rock solid table, is that going to have some different effect? We will see. This printer is going to be going inside into the farm here relatively soon. We're going to be redoing that calibration inside. We'll see if that changes. But for right now, let me know your thoughts of how much you think it's going to reduce everything in those comments. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing running now, though. So we started the calibration. This is going to take a few minutes. And I'll report back with the findings because based on what we've seen from Prusa, this should be an improvement of at least like mid 80 percent in terms of noise levels and in some cases upwards of 98 percent reduction in vibration on these machines now my best guess here is that anytime you do move the machine to a different surface so versus a work table behind me or the standing desk that's actually kind of below me right now which is a little more prone to shaking you would want to likely redo it but that's kind of similar for input shaping as well from what i can tell this is effectively input shaping but i want to see it for real so we're going to get through this process and then we're going to start a print we're going to turn face stepping on and off throughout the print and record it so that you guys can see and hear 
the differences. There we have it. X-axis vibration A reduced by 94%, vibration B reduced by 90%, and on the Y-axis, vibration A is reduced by 97%, and vibration B reduced by 92%. That is so freaking much reduction in noise. So now we just have to test it because upwards of 97% reduction vibration. I don't know if I believe it. We're just gonna make sure that the nozzle is actually touching and that little bit of filament is not going to be an issue. And then it's gonna start probing the build plate. In just the probing alone, I can tell the difference. And so the print begins. So just to give you an idea, I'm gonna turn face stepping off. Versus. Okay, now we're gonna turn it back on. Holy crap, that's quiet. Wow. I was honestly skeptical about those numbers. Like, 97%? Are you serious? There is no way. No, there absolutely is a way. This printer has got to be a third, if not lower, of the volume than it was when we first started. Sure, the motion, the actual, like, fast motion is loud still, like when the printer is traveling, but the actual printing, this is gonna give the Magneto X a run for its money in terms of how quiet the actual machine is. And while Prusa's fans are quieter, the Magneto X has way better cooling. Just something that we're gonna be working on fixing on the XL, and if you wanna see that, stay tuned because, yeah, these things need better cooling if you wanna run them fast. And now, with phase stepping, which honestly sounds just like noise cancellation. I think it's just input shaping, but it's done at the stepper motor level rather than for the actual tool head where input shaping is to get rid of ringing. This seems to be more for a noise, but it can also deal with VFA as well. We're gonna be doing some test printing here. I will update you guys in an upcoming stream, so stay tuned, but definitely expect more on this from us. This is still in alpha, but I wanted to talk about it as soon as possible because if you do have an XL and you're willing to take the risk to go to an alpha firmware, it's really freaking quiet. Like, really freaking quiet. Hey yeah, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I think that there is a lot of value in this phase stepping that Prusa has come up with. I would love to see further improvement from it and I'm looking forward to the actual full release of this firmware. Let me know if you're gonna be trying this out yourself and what your tests are. I'll post our results in the description down below so you guys can see it. And hey, if you do wanna go check that out and you're feeling in the gifting kind of mood, you can kick a couple of bucks into that creator fund and help us make videos like this because printers like this are not cheap and we had to pay full price for this. We got no special treatment from Prusa, and we still don't. It's a bummer. Hi, Prusa. Please. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I'm really looking forward to this. We love playing around with innovative firmware. Like the Mark 3S's that we have on our farm, we don't really update their firmware very often. But on a machine like the XL, and you're quoting saying that you're getting upwards of like 94, 95% reduction in the noise the machine makes, you bet your sweet keister I'm going to try it. Especially if we can do it 100% offline, which we can because it's a Perusha. I will say, certainly one of the quietest machines that we have now, and with its fans off, obviously. I don't know, it's this, this machine might be giving the Magneto X a run for its money when it comes to actual noise. However, Magneto X will win on a fast travel motion because it doesn't have the traditional motors, pulleys, and all of that that you would expect on a machine that is corresponding. If you want to see more about that, card to that video so you guys can take a look at it. But I do want to give a huge thank you to all of our channel member supporters whose names are listed right next to me, the $5 tier and higher. You guys know where those links are. Thank you for making videos like these possible where we can do a quick little look 
at something like this. I hope you guys do enjoy it as well. Right below me will be the series where we built this machine live on the channel. And next to that will be the live stream where we sent the Magneto X as fast as we possibly could to where we started having the drivers fail on us. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your lovers. Don't forget to leave a like and get subscribed. And as always, keep making awesome. I'm going to be printing so much more with this machine now. Have a good one. You had the tool you, you needed. Okay.